We might have a future winemaker right here. Hmm. Let's leave some for the wine, though. Let's go pick some grapes and drink some wine. Drinking grape juice before it's even been made wine. Today we're back to actually experience the restaurant. That was a lot of food, that was so delicious. We ended up doing the three course meal. It is time for an adventure. Remember we talked and said we were gonna do some more travel, we were yes. gonna do some more exploring in Cordoba? Exactly. Well, we are keeping our word. Yes, so today we have been invited to participate in a grape harvest. Yeah. So we've come to a local winery. It is called Juana Urbana, and it's just a few kilometers outside of the center of Chacanto, which yeah. is a town that's turning into a city here in the valley of Calamuchita. So we have a really fun day ahead with food, with wine. Yes. We woke up bright and early. We got picked up at our place. Beautiful drive, rural yes. dirt roads to get here. And my gosh, it's just like, I'm in such a good mood. I'm so excited to be doing something fun. <laughs> wine and food related. This is like right up our alley. I think we're gonna have an, just an awesome day. I can't wait. All right, Sam, are you ready to, to harvest those grapes? Yeah, I sure am. So we are harvesting the grapes that are going to be used to make Malbec wine. Mm. So that's very exciting. That's my favorite wine in Argentina, like hands down. That is the wine that you want to pair with asado, with pastas. Love it on its own even. Yeah, so basically what we're looking to do is find basically the base here. And you just go in and you snip it like that. We take this and then toss it in the basket. Harvesting the grapes makes you appreciate the, the whole process even more. And this is just a beautiful, beautiful day to be outside. The sun's out, but it's not too hot. We started early in the morning and we have an entire row to complete. So that is our project. That's our plan for the time being. Mm. They're so sweet. They're so good. Oh man. Mm. Let's leave some for the wine, though. little progress report let's check out the basket this is what we've managed to film film <laughs> film. yes film. we've been filming <laughs> we have. Sam's been doing a lot of filming I've been doing a lot of snipping uh, but basically we've done half the the row that we need to complete and then there's more to go we are not experienced grape pickers we are slow going the bees are also really enjoying the grapes which are super sweet at the moment mm -hmm. so yes you just have to take it easy do it with care try not to get stung because that yep. would not be fun like you can see why we started early as well it's yes. getting really hot and um 
Yeah, but it's 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 great. Like we are slow, but I'm we're both enjoying the process. Yes. And um, you know, slow and steady wins the race. No. We, we might have a future winemaker right here. <laughs> All right, how's the grape picking coming along? It's been great, but I wanted to show you some of the finished product. Oh. So we've got some wines in here. Let's some go wines. check it out. Okay. It's also a convenient way to cool off in here. Yes. Yes. You know, what's really neat is given the size of the place, it's not huge at the moment. They make about 2000, so it's limited edition. It says limited edition, custom made label. And then I like this one even more. Just look at the beautiful painting 2015 Malbec Juana Urbana Juana Urbana so yeah I can't wait to try those obviously for lunch we're gonna be having an asado and I uh, can't wait to sample the wines <laughs> to processing to trying the juice. Drinking grape juice before it's even been made wine. Mm. Oh yeah, that's so sweet. Mm. That's good stuff. With a few seeds for good measure. With loads of seeds. What a difference a good night's sleep makes cooler temperatures i feel like a brand new person gotta say yesterday picking grapes in 30 plus degree heat at noon it was just like 
it left me in a zombie state. Gives you state. brain fog. Brain fog the rest of the day. So what did you miss yesterday? Um, after we picked grapes, we had a delicious barbecue with all the crew. Lots of fun, very tasty. Then we came to the cabin, had a huge two hour nap. And then we just went for a little drive and there was more barbecue, more food. Yeah. So you can imagine. <laughs> we also toured a little bit of the property as well. They have some yes. other cabins. So yes. Really nice property. And that's why I thought that this morning we would give you a proper cabin tour so you can see what it looks like. So the cabins are called Valle Magico Magical Valley. It is pretty spectacular. The views this morning, I did get up early to film sunrise for you and it was just so, so nice. But anyways, let's start with the tour. So right now we are on the ground floor and you've got an open space. You've got your kitchen and dining area. And the idea is like self-catered holidays. So you know, you've got your fridge, you bring your own food, you can cook, you've got the stove there, kettle, coffee maker and they also give you like sugar salt seasonings you know things to get you started in the kitchen with your meal and then i'll show you the bathroom since that is on ground level here we are classic argentine bathroom of course with the toilet the bidet we've got the shower and then your sink and now let me take you upstairs the loft to the loft Yeah, so this is the room up in the loft. Like this cabin is designed for couples. So you've got your double bed. Again, big windows with views of the property and well, some extra bedding, which was not necessary when it is over 30 degrees. It was the kind of weather where you just want to sleep in your underwear. <laughs> yeah, it was that, it was that scenario. Yeah, but like the cottage is very cozy. It's made from a wood called quebracho, which is a hardwood and it kind of has this reddish color. And well, now that you've had the tour, we're gonna walk over to our host's cabin and they've invited us to have breakfast together. We met these people through YouTube. So <laughs> yeah, they've, they, been they've invited kind. us to come and like check out this town, Jacanto. They took us on like a little drive, a little adventure yesterday. So it's been really fun exploring with them, sharing meals with them. And now we're off to breakfast. Oh, proyecto surge de un amor a este lugar que es Villa Yacanto, acá en Córdoba. Veníamos de vacaciones cuando teníamos un ratito libre y nos gustó tanto que un día, bueno, Marcelo dijo, vamos a comprar un lote. <ríe> y acá llegamos a este lote, acá en Juana Urbana. Nos encantó el lugar y nos hicimos una cabañita para, bueno, venir cuando quisiéramos. Y luego dijimos, eh, podemos hacer unas cabañitas para alquilar. Y e hicimos dos cabañitas. <ríe> Nosotros compramos en el 2020. 19 acá comenzamos la construcción en el 2020 y bueno hoy ya estamos terminando la, eh, la sexta cabaña eh, y bueno y acá estamos en este lugar que llamamos valle mágico no sabíamos qué nombre ponerle lo llamamos así porque realmente sentimos eso que es un lugar mágico eh, nos encanta este lugar nos gusta mucho venir hay mucha paz tenemos una plantación de lavandas también 900 lavandas que bueno eh, va a ser algo complementario al digamos al, al proyecto de las cabañas y bueno por ahí tenemos algún otro proyecto dando vueltas vos sí, que te gustan hay. tanto los árboles <ríe> <ríe> bueno no sé la idea es a poner unos nogales no sé cuántos ni bien todavía pero la idea es hacer una, una pequeña plantación de nogales también para que quede más lindo el lugar aparte que no sé la gente que viene si hay nogales y puede juntar nueces se juntan las nueces y se las lleva que esa es, es la idea Alrighty guys, so day two, yep. we are back at the winery. Yesterday was all about 
harvesting the grapes. We had a barbecue with the family, with the workers. Today we're back to actually experience the restaurant, yeah. which is open on weekends. Opens on the weekends and there's also a wine tour that you can do as well. Yes. So we're here for the tour and then we're going to have a really nice set meal. Three courses. Three courses, of course, with a glass of wine. Two glasses of wine. Yeah, so we're, we're really excited to be back. And it's going to be neat because, you know, yesterday it was a, an informal group. Yes. And this time we get to see what the, the restaurant looks like as, as a restaurant. As a restaurant. As an actual restaurant. So. Yeah, so during high season, it is open Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. That would be during the summer months. Yeah. And then the rest of the year, it's only Saturday and Sundays for lunch. So definitely make a reservation yes. uh, before you just show up here. For sure. And um, yeah, we, we always have an appetite somehow. Always do. Three <laughs> courses. <laughs> que hablábamos recién delimitaban todo lo que eran territorios entonces aparte en la época de los jesuitas había como chingones no se sabe quién construyó las pircas pero estamos hablando de 100 a 150 años de acuerdo a los líquenes el ranchito que estamos viendo el estudio y, y los datos que se tienen es de 1886 según la gente que vivía antes ya estaba en 1800 so fun fact that we have learned there are some old ranches on site here on the property and the records indicate that this building existed back in 1886 already they do suspect that it was older and they also have some jesuit ruins on site so like very little remains it's basically just like some stone and rubble but you do have that rich jesuit history which we are going to be exploring in some other videos as we take you around the province of cordoba because this really was a a jesuit stronghold with lots of estancias so guys i think this is maybe a little bit hard to see on camera but we're looking at a 100 year old vine wrapped around this willow tree it goes all around up there like it's just like all wrapped up in between those branches and it still produces grapes that's crazy so this plant that we're seeing here it's actually the the label for their for their malbec for the red wine which we'll show you later but like that's all one plant how's the wine tour it's been fun it's nice to revisit the property again obviously we got some experience here yesterday doing the harvest but um the more you learn about the place the the more fascinating its history is like just the fact that there's that 100 year old vine that's like wrapping itself around a tree planted by the jesuits planted by the jesuits and i mean to see like uh, a young couple with ambition coming here and deciding like yeah let's let's make the most of this land let's create a, a really cool vineyard open a restaurant and also preserve some of the the jesuit history and the, the architecture as well so yeah a fascinating place you know, honestly, if it wasn't for this invitation that we had out here, probably never would have heard or found out about it. So these are the kinds of unique kind of like off the beaten path places we love to visit at this point in our lives. That's the type of travel we love. And it's a really interesting blend. 70% Malbec, 30% Cabernet Franc. This is the first time to try. 2022. Oh, I would describe that as super suave. So what that means is 
extremely smooth. It's like velvet going down the throat. Appetizers. Round here. one is officially arrived. Okay, what do we have for round so one? So we have empanada set, mm -hmm. which comes with salsa criolla. Salsa criolla, that's what it was. And then we have a wonderful assortment of cheese, fruits, and nuts. Figs, dates, raisins. Figs. Yeah, exactly. Figs, dates, raisins, blue cheese, other kinds of cheese. We're well set. This is just the appetizer, too. Here we are back in front of the restaurant after eating a delicious meal to the point where I feel like a boa constrictor type feeling at the moment because <laughs> that was a lot of food that was so delicious. We ended up doing the three course meal. So I had this delicious empanada. It wasn't ground beef, like the meat was chopped with a knife, so like cubed. They call it carne al cuchillo. Yeah, just a delicious sauce to go with it. Then for my main, I got the pork with a apple puree, also a, a carrot puree, which was delicious. And Sam got the fried Sorrentinos with ricotta and walnuts and mushrooms. It was so good. First time having fried Sorrentinos, would recommend, will order those again. The wine flowed and then we got dessert, Sam, the pancakes with dulce de leche. I got the flan, which is made with peperina, which is a local flower in the area. Yeah, it just had like this little soft peppermint aftertaste in the back. It was really nice. So yeah, beyond, beyond stuffed. But we had a great time working at the winery yesterday and then feasting today. So I know we're going to be back. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We're getting back into the groove of things with traveling again. We've been on a bit of a hiatus with all the renovation work we've been doing. But we have several trips lined up, which we're pretty excited about. So more adventures to come. And now we need to drive back home bit of a journey through dirt roads and paved roads as well <laughs> so yeah we'll be seeing you guys next week Ta -ta.